Hello, and welcome to another episode of MatterHacks, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about taking photos in a Matterport scan. As you can see here, I'm on Matterport's website, mymatterport.com. I've logged into my account, and I've loaded up one of the scans that we've done recently as we build out our training curriculum. And I'm going to hit play here so it loads up. Now, of note, my user interface might be slightly different. Uh, Matterport is constantly making updates uh, for impro to improve their user interface. So in this case, they're moving things from the workshop to a more accessible edit function. So up here in the top left, I'm going to switch to edit. And you'll see this bar come up on the right side. Now for this uh, video, I'm trying to take photos. So I'm going to click this photos button. And you can see it loads up this grid. And it's prepared to take a photo of anything I want. So let's say, for example, I want to get the underside of these upper cabinets here. I'm going to move over here by double clicking to it. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I can capture this. And I'm going to hit this button right here to take a photo. Boom. Photo is taken. Photo saved. I can even immediately click it to view it. But I want to turn around and do another one. For example, I'm going to zoom back out. And you notice all the cabinets are open so that we can see everything. It's very accessible. Now let's take another one under here to get some of the plumbing. I'm going to take a photo. It'll save the photo for me. This time I'm going to hit view so you can see what happens when I click view. It's going to take me to that photo. It's going to load up a new little window here. And I can see this photo here, this photo here. Now, you've been walking around this property, taking a bunch of photos, regardless of the purpose. Potentially you're doing program work and you're required to send in a bunch of photos through the, the program portal. So you have all your photos. Now where exactly are they and how do I download them? If you come here to the left side, you'll see photos. And if you click photos, you'll see a bunch of photos here. Now, a lot of these, the ones that have titles like kitchen and unfurnished and laundry and garage, these are automatically generated by the software in the cloud. So when you hit scan, or when you hit upload the scan to the cloud, these photos are automatically generated. Now, those that have a time and date, as they do here, those are something that I've taken manually. So I can select a few photos if I want just to download a select few. And I can do it by doing that. And I can hit download up here in the top right. Or let's say I want to download all of the photos here. I can just quickly hit this button here. It'll select all of them. And then I click download. And as you can see here, it's to select the size for your 55 snapshots. So you can go for a web quality, you can go presentation quality, or you can go the max quality, nice 4K quality photos with that Pro 2 camera. So I'm going to hit accept. And it says you'll see you'll receive an email when your download is ready. I hit accept. We're generating the zip file for you now. You'll receive an email once the file is generated. Now, I did this as a practice for this exercise. It took approximately 15 seconds uh, to receive the email. Uh, but this is how you take photos. We talk about the, impl the implications of Matterport's 3D scans and the 4K quality photos that it's, that, uh, that, it's, that it's taking inherently that you can access through the cloud here. And you can take a photo of anything, anytime. You can zoom in as much as you want to get the quality of this, this uh, drywall texture and then send that photo off in whatever context that you need. So hopefully this has been a, an excellent MatterHacks video and showing you how to use these scans, uh, the, the software uh, on the Matterport website to take pictures within the scan. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.